In this video, I will show you, I will demo to you how I can set up the development environment uh, on the MacBook Air M1 silicon chip. So it would be the same with the uh, Windows user and Linux user with the different package management. On the MacBook, make sure you have the pre-installed, the home pre-installed. I need to check with the version of the home pre. So if you doesn't. If you don't um, install it yet, you can uh, just run the uh, GitHub clone and install on your machine. And then you need to make sure you have the Python environment already set up on your machine. And um, using pip3 as the package management for the Python environment because um, the data will be um, interacted and manipulated with the Python environment as the Python is uh, very common, popular into the data industry. So here's the folder that I uh, show on a browser. So we have the readme file, we have the access, uh, we have the containers, and we have the Vim. If you want to custom your terminal, um, like my terminal show on the screen and just make sure you install on a library that uh, you can able to uh, create a data application but um, I found that I'm missing the Python folder so I just create a Python folder and create a requirements text and um, yeah I put all the requirements here you can see uh, flask I want to develop API, interrupt Mongo. So I want to interrupt with Kafka, Bandas, Pyro, uh, but the three is interrupt with the AWS and Snowflake connector if I want to connect to the, the, the Snowflake. So it's quite basic. And then um, you need to install uh, the requirements using the PIP3. I just run the command based in a stone a recursive python slash requirements.txt so just install the all the dependencies so if you want to custom the terminal make sure uh, you have the uh, i terminal 2 and uh, i recommend you use the oh my uh, zhs as the very um, fancy and fancy tactics uh, terminal custom and if you want to have the team, so you just um, run the command and make sure you have the teams installed here. Very basic. So I'll show you how I install the plugin. Uh, for example, um, you have to have some auto suggestions, syntax highlight, syntax highlighting, and auto complete. And how you can uh, enable the plugin uh, once you clone the GitHub repo, so it's just easy, copy and paste. And then for browser, uh, this is uh, my browser actually, as you see the main as my browser and um, video recording. And you can see that we have, we have uh, the fantastic uh, web browser, fast and efficiency, and also open sources, and very um, powerful with the searching feature and then uh, go into uh, the development as I is using the uh, obstacle to deploy all the uh, Docker images. So you can see on the screen, I have the uh, more than 10 images uh, hosted on my machine on the MacBook Air. So make sure um, you have installed the obstack. This is the Docker um, Compose YAML file, which is the I configure all the services that I want to and once we deploy uh, I put it into the container folder and I using the all stack which only support on MacBook and if you are using the uh, Windows you can install the Docker desktop instead of uh, Upstack because Upstack is uh, optimized for the uh, Apple machine
you can see this is the, the uh, all the t more than 10 uh, containers that I host with different um, functionalities as uh, backend core advisor and um, backend for the data platform and application so I structure the um, the file into uh, data application and data platform with the different uh, data stack so just put into the YAML file and just run the docker compose file and up here the error that because uh, I already have the um, blackout S3 which is deployed in a uh, non repo so and here we just uh, deleted the container and create a new one And you can see in here is the offset code. I have no containers running, and I just run again uh, Docker Compose Ops, and it will be um, create all the container. You can see it's very fast. Uh, it's which is optimal for uh, the MacBook. And you can see I have the Kafka MinIO, SSS3, MongoDB, Post3, uh, Data Warehouse, and JoeKeeper as the uh, facilitator. And once you are done the development, you just stop all the container and remove all the volume that you attach to the Docker using the down function in the Docker Compose. There we go. So for the data application, you have the backend and the front end. So I'm using the flags as a middleware and the um, to QA the APIs using post as the backend and uh, data programming are using python and here is uh, all the requirements that i create for the data application you can see the flags mongo and for the data platform i split into smaller pieces with the different layers like storage processing warehousing buffer a protocol and also the infrastructure so very different layers using different tool or services snowflake is uh, one of powerful data warehouse in the cloud so it will be the trend in uh, 2023 in 2024 and further um, for development i recommend using python and scala as you call is by default and we start to learn about aws infrastructure we're using the terraform grafana and here's the all the uh, project structure that i highly recommend just create symbol. Thanks for watching.